Hello, YouTube. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Nick and I are sweating our butts off. It is currently 101. I will show you. 101. In South Dakota right now, we just left the Black Hills, which actually, you can still see the Black Hills a little bit. Isn't it beautiful? And we are on our way to Bighorn National Forest in Wyoming. So, <laughs> That's where we're headed. We're trying not to keep the air conditioning on because the transmission fluid is getting really hot. And I know those probably aren't correlated exactly, but I feel like when we keep the air conditioning down, it helps the engine. I could be making that up in my head, but we're suffering because of it. <laughs> so if those two things aren't related, please comment below. Looks like there could be a storm ahead. I am praying for rain. <laughs> Just get a feel of how incredible this place is. These canyons, oh my god, it's amazing. I can't believe it. Damn, but the water. So water is totally blown out, which we kind of expected. This was just, I guess, a good spot for us to bop to next. Glad we're here to see it, um, but not ideal. Good morning, YouTube. Uh, so you saw how last night we got to the Bighorn National Forest. We found our camp spot. And then we wake up this morning <laughs> and look at what is outside. You may already be able to hear some of it. Look at this. <laughs> look at that. Oh my God. So there is an ultra runner race, which is actually really, oh. The blue giant truck. You like the blue truck? No. The blue giant truck. <laughs> uh, excuse me, we're in here. <laughs> What the heck is happening? We're trying to get in. There's an ultra runner race today. It's, I think, called the Bighorn Trail Run. And it's, these folks are running up to 100 miles. There's a 100 mile race, a 52 mile race, 30 something, and 18. And I know all this because I looked it up last night because they started moving in porta potties and we were like, hmm, I wonder what's going on. Turns out we're at the start of the race. We're literally at the starting line. There's people everywhere surrounding our trailer. And those little kids, I don't know who they are, just come in to check it out. So I'm gonna go outside and uh, pretend like I'm part of this <laughs> when I'm so not. But it's pretty cool and it's a respectable thing. So I'm just gonna make the best of it and enjoy watching these folks start their race. <laughs> Guess what time it is. <laughs> this will be my first time fly fishing in Wyoming ever. There is some severe weather in the area. You can tell it's a little cloudy. Just looked at the radar and it said, oh, dime size hail coming your way. But according to the radar, as of right now, it should miss us by like a mile or two. So fingers crossed. We're not going far anyway, uh, but just our luck. The weather just loves to follow us around. Look at this. You can just see the red that is heading our direction. 
we're gonna turn around. The thunder's getting worse. We thought that it was gonna pass us and go around us, but it's pretty close. It's starting to drizzle a little bit, and there's a ton of thunder. So we'll go hang tight for a bit. I probably won't even break down the rod. I'll just leave it up. Maybe I'll just leave my waders on. No, I won't, but. <laughs> Bummer. Oh, wow. That's the hail coming down. Can you hear it? Well, oh, you can't even see me because it's so wet. Well, we got rained out of fishing pretty bad. They weren't kidding when they said dime size hail. It was more like quarter size hail but it sounds like it's slowing a little bit. The rain has passed, thank God. Surprised it didn't dent the truck. But, radar looks clear. So we have the rest of the night to enjoy the water. So we're gonna head out right now. Our friend who was fly fishing earlier just passed. He's headed out on the water too. So it's gonna be a good night. Gave me a little confidence boost in my nymph finching fishing. We've got to go explore more. There's some type of hatch going on. I haven't been able to catch one and figure out what it is. But it's something. So I'm going to change out the fly to something lighter colored for the drive.
been the tiniest fish ever. day. <laughs> I think today is day nine on the road and we're headed back out for more fish. We had such a good evening last night and we're going to fish the lower part of the river today. Good job. God, I don't even know what day it is. Do you know what day it is? Today is going to be a fun day. I am taking over bow hunting 360's Instagram story today. So I'll be doing a little shooting later today. And then we're actually hitting the road. So we are going to Lander, Wyoming. And I have an event there that I'm doing with Artemis Sportswomen. I will link Artemis down below because I haven't talked about Artemis in a while. And by the time this video is up, the event will already be over, but at least you can get more information about future events if they're in your area. We'll be doing a conservation trivia night at a bar. I think it'll be fun. I'll give you a little more info about that, but it's starting to look pretty rough. <laughs> the shower that I took yesterday, like, I have to film next time I do something like that. Not literally film my shower, but like the process of... 
all of it. <laughs> It is officially the end of our journey in the Bighorn National Forest. This was a very beautiful place. It's a shame that we had crappy weather, but we're off to the next spot. What was your rating of the Bighorn National Forest? 10 scenery. Oh, I agree. Totally two agree. Two weather. Yeah, two weather. What about the fishing? Five. Yeah is that I think I would agree five based on the water levels, but had it been like peak season, it would have been like a 10 for sure. Yeah. 10 for sure.